السلام علیکم ایوری ون اینڈ ویلکم ٹو نالج کنیکٹ اینڈ افیشیل پروگرام آف دا یونیورسٹی آف فیصلہ آباد اینڈ آئی ایم یور ہوسٹ ڈاکٹر امینہ مہک ٹوڈے وی آر بیک ود این ادر ایپیسوڈ ٹو ایکسپلور ٹی یو ایف دیٹ از کنیکٹنگ ٹو یو فار دا برائٹسٹ مائنڈ سیٹ فار دا انوویٹو تھنکرس فار دا انڈسٹری لیڈرس اینڈ ٹوڈے وی ہیو این ادر اسٹیمڈ گیسٹ ہی از ڈین فیکلٹی آف انفارمیشن ٹیکنالوجی ہی ہیز سروڈ at multiple universities internationally and nationally and he has ranked at one of the best uh, positions and definitely he is uh, today with us to share his leadership thoughts he has served not only as a faculty of dean he has not only served at, at different uh, universities as a head of department he has also served as a researcher he has number of publications he is a data scientist he has a capability to encourage the student uh, he uh, is best at his entrepreneurship level so definitely you will join so stay tuned with us assalam alaikum sir thank you so much sir for coming uh, first of all uh, let us know about your department what sets a uh, department of computer sciences apart from the other departments of tuf yeah bismillah rahman rahim department of computer science uh, is basically leading department of uh, the tuf as uh, the tuf is uh, getting a very good name in, in the market uh, correspondingly uh, department of computer science is playing its uh, requisite role to get the good name in the market uh, right now we are proceeding with the uh, around uh, 1600 students and uh, a very healthy number of faculty as well uh, uh, the staff of the students i think uh, is uh, quite good so correspondingly we have to be very careful about our faculty uh, our faculty is uh, 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 is uh, comprised of uh, one of the most competent bunch of people who are actually serving in academics uh, in the local region do we have uh, do we have faculty from the outside of the university or alumni as well actually most of uh, the faculty is uh, uh, from the outside uh, the university uh, you know uh, some of them are foreign qualified some are local qualified but uh, uh, the basic criteria is a competence is uh, their commitment and is okay. their and uh, their dedication towards the profession okay. that's what we are trying to ensure when we are hiring the faculty Definitely. and uh, since the uh, uh, department is uh, growing rapidly uh, we have to go again and again in the hiring process and alhamdulillah uh, i can uh, i can state uh, with uh, the full confidence that uh, the right now we have uh, the faculty that is uh, more competent than any of the regional institution uh, what kind of labs do we have at tuf department of uh, computer science as you know uh, is uh, comprised of uh, the multiple programs okay uh, we are proceeding with the uh, bs computer sciences okay. we uh, are uh, we have uh, software engineering we have uh, information technology we have data science as well as uh, uh, we are proceeding with the uh, the bs artificial intelligence so all of these program programs have uh, Uh, different requisitions of uh, and the they labs. are all uh, related and affiliated to HEC yeah of course we have got the accreditation of uh, the CS and the uh, SE and uh, for uh, the IT we are going uh, this semester well data science as we have just begun uh, so we will go for the accreditation in uh, the first or the second semester I, I think the first intake will will take in the fall 24 and uh, simultaneously we are, we are preparing for the accreditation Uh, we have a uh, good reputation in uh, the hcc uh, okay. one thing i must mention that uh, we went for the accreditation of uh, the cs and sc pscs and okay. sc and alhamdulillah we got the accreditation for the last three batches and it rarely happens at least in this region it has never happened again uh, happened before how do you engage your students uh, from the theoretical to the practical yes it's a very good question especially Uh, as far as the domain of uh, the IT and computer science is concerned, it is, uh, I think, the fundamental sort of question. Yes. Uh, we are, uh, uh, I mean, specifically aligned with, uh, with the curriculum uh, provided by the HEC, number one. Number two, we have a very 
close eye over the international emergencies uh, i mean uh, the different uh, developments which are which are happening inside uh, the curriculums of uh, the it related uh, domains and the programs uh, keeping in view uh, we we actually induct all those changes all those moderations all those developments in our curriculum and uh, you can easily imagine the way we proceed from uh, this statement that uh, for the in, in during the last two years we have uh, gone through the curriculum revision uh, more than more than, i mean four or five times uh, it is so frequent i don't think it happens so frequently in the rest of uh, the institutions uh, then uh, as you know uh, CS and IT is changing rapidly. Uh, once uh, you you think you are expert in some sort of domain, but uh, uh, simultaneously you come to know that uh, instantly you come to know that uh, this is becoming past now. This is the era of uh, the new uh, domain. Uh, we have, uh, as I said earlier, we have a deep eye, close eye over it, and uh, curriculum revision is one of uh, our strategy to. More, uh, to uh, I mean, prepare our students on the modernized basis. Number two, we are equipped with state-of-the-art labs. Okay. And uh, uh, I think I must appreciate uh, the management of the TUF that uh, they have provided us with a lab uh, uh, which is working with the GPUs. Okay. And uh, GPU-based labs are uh, rare in the area. Uh, we uh, are working in. In, I think in a private sector, it's quite difficult to manage GPU. I think for the uh, students as well. I think there is uh, no precedence. It's if a I, challenge. If I conclude, uh, yes. there is no precedence. Okay. Uh, but Alhamdulillah, we got it quite easily. Okay. The, this shows a commitment of uh, uh, TUF man management towards the modernization of uh, okay. the IT education, education especially. Okay. Okay. Uh, simultaneously, we are working in uh, blockchain. We are working in artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is everywhere. So, yes. uh, discussing something uh, about AI, I, I don't think uh, there needs some sort of a different. Because it's need of the art. Discussion. Exactly. AI is everywhere. Yes. Uh, we have uh, the projects in uh, different domains. We have the expertise in different domains. Oh. Uh, we are trying uh, to lead our sp uh, students. Uh, uh, so that they could move towards uh, the atmosphere of uh, the entrepreneurship with the trust uh, in them. And trust comes with the skill. Exactly. Confidence comes with the skill. Skills. And if they are bestowed with the requisite level of, uh, uh, the, of uh, the skill, then uh, it shows uh, that, that they are confident enough and they can cope up with the requirements of the market. And that's what's happening around us. And we feel that uh, from the market point of view and uh, the echoes we are getting from the market, uh, we are quite hopeful that uh, we have done a lot in this uh, particular direction okay. and uh, still the things are in progress and they will help us out to uh, make our students one of the premier lots in the market. You are preparing your students from the day one to be presentable in industrial level. So, how do you engage your faculty and students as well for the skill enhancement? What kind of platform you are providing to the students and faculty as well? Actually, uh, there are multiple uh, stages. Okay. For example, we induct the student and then the student goes into the classrooms. Okay. Uh, classroom has a, uh, a certain sort of atmosphere. Uh, we have, uh, uh, you know, we have... Uh, I mean, a requisite level of uh, the class appearance. Exactly. A student has to be present in the class. Uh, and this is, I mean, the most, uh, uh, I mean, one of the most strict policy of uh, the TUF. Yeah. Uh, number two, this is the classroom environment where uh, we go with assignments, we go with quizzes, we go with, uh, I mean, a certain sort of uh, uh, competitions, etc. Secondly, we arrange the competitions. And these competitions are annual based, semester based. We they are typically related to the course outlines that is directed by the ATC requirement. Uh, sort of, sort of. They are partially, uh, they are partially related to their course outlines, to to their contents, but majorly we focus over the market requirements. For example, uh, once uh, uh, say you uh, want to become a developer in the market, what are the latest tools in the market? 
uh, if uh, the the student is in the first or second or third semester, he's in, he or she is engaged with the the routine level uh, classroom activities. Exactly. However, uh, we arrange different seminars. Uh, we call the state of the art uh, people around us. I mean the experts. Sometimes uh, the leading guys from the academics and the industry. And uh, uh, this this is a regular practice. We go through the summits. We have uh, a mature uh, atmosphere of, uh, I mean, the conferences as well. And uh, the best thing I, I, I uh, perceive is uh, we have launched uh, the Innovative Life Board, one of the premier uh, events of uh, this region. We invite the different universities. We gather the different level of the skill sets under the same market. It was the first time at TUF it happened? No, this was second time. Second time. Okay. Uh, if, uh, particularly if we talk about the Innovative Light Board, it was uh, started in 2023. Okay. Uh, and uh, we engaged 11 universities of the area. Okay. Uh, we got 71 projects. And all, all those 71 projects, uh, uh, the game of first, second, third is different. Okay. But the game of learning of students, is, I think it the is team, different. The the idea, yeah. the innovation. Uh, the best projects of the festival were uh, gathered under the, under the same marquee. Our students went through those pro projects. Uh, luckily, in the first version of the Innovative Light Board, all three positions got by uh, TUF. Uh, I don't think it can be a matter of pride, but uh, I think this shows the commitment and the skill set of uh, uh, our students and the faculty as well. Recently, on the 3rd May, in the previous month, we again hosted the Innovative Lailpur 2.0. It was uh, participated by 26 universities okay. from all over the Pakistan. The response we got, that was overwhelming. And uh, we shortlisted 150 projects. And uh, among the 150 projects, first we decided to, uh, I mean, honor the three projects, then the administration looking at the response of uh, the students and uh, the skill set of the because students. Because they were uh, the best. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the universities actually selected their best projects and sent to us. Definitely. When we went through the competition, we realized that uh, uh, the students must be encouraged. The, I mean, they, they did the fabulous jobs in uh, in their uh, uh, in, in their projects. I mean, if someone was uh, concentrating over uh, the agriculture, the uh, the idea was innovative. Okay. The the uh, input was marvelous. The tools were used. I think uh, uh, as much as I can appreciate them, it will be less than the requisites. I cannot. I mean, uh, I I have no appropriate words to appreciate the people. I mean, someone sitting in uh, the Rahim Yar Khan or in the Chulistan and uh, he is working on the agriculture. Uh, he is uh, uh, trying to I mean uh, impact the best market practices under the same roof. And uh, I mean, uh, when we went through the evaluations, uh, we realized that the youth is not is no more. Uh, I mean, no longer restricted with the local exactly. values. They are working on a modern basis and uh, so modern sometimes. And I think we, 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 we got really missed. appreciated. They uh, traveled all along the way towards the Faisalabad at the TUF to present their projects. Yeah, they, to present their projects. <laughs> actually, uh, I, for me, they actually expressed the level of uh, their skills and the level of their academic as well as the industrial commitments at the institutions. Even the heads of institutions, I mean the vice chancellors, took the deep interest in it. They came over here and uh, they even went through the evaluation criteria, through the evaluation process, and uh, the feedback was uh, excellent. The basic question uh, you were interested in was, how we are engaging them. Exactly. Uh, when the students uh, uh, go through 150 different sort of the projects with different sort of tools, and those are already shortlisted, already, uh, I mean, one, uh, some of, uh, I mean, smaller or uh, intermediate level of the competitions, it not only uh, enhances uh, the students' thirst to jump into these skills, but also it encourages uh, the students to 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 have uh, to have the opportunities those are existing globally uh, for example uh, recently we had a seminar and uh, we just presented a, a report of uh, the world economic forum uh, 
uh, the World Economic Forum says that uh, by 2030, we need 85 to 90 million cybersecurity experts only. What will be the position of the AI at that particular moment of time? This is another question. Definitely. What will yes, we do with blockchain? This is another domain. What will we do with the data science? This is another domain. Mm. I mean, uh, the cloud will be where no I one knows. It's all about so, under the umbrella of computer sciences. Yeah. When, when you arrange the competitions like this mm. and the students exchange uh, their views uh, with each other, I mean, uh, NAS is there, UET is there, FAST is there, ComSat is there. Actually, Com the situation in competition there. is really challenging. Yeah. It's, it's time, it's very, the time is very crucial, you can say. So how do you manage all the events, all the uh, opportunities for the students? How do you engage them? Is there any other platform? Are there any societies available at TUF? Yes. Uh, we actually, right now, uh, at that, you know, at the TUF level, there are multiple societies, yes. long list of uh, society, society yes, says there, and uh, the concerned departments are doing very good. They, they, they are very skilled in their that particular sort of job. They, they are engaging the students very good. But as far as the Department of Computer Science is concerned, uh, we have a, a, a culture of clubs. For example, okay. we have Innovation Club. Okay. We have a Programming yeah. Club. We have a, a, an Artificial Intelligence Club. We have, a, a, I mean, a IT Society. This is a sort of club, but it is IT Society. We have a Gaming Club. And likewise, some of the other communities we have inside you the department. You are going to cover all we, the aspects? Yeah, we have a very strong IEEE society as well. Okay. Uh, communication society, okay. computer society, and they are acknowledged by the, the regional as well as the international authorities. Whenever we go for some event, whenever we go for the engagement of the students, it, these societies and clubs are always at, at the front foot. And this is the, that's why uh, the engagement of our students is uh, more than our expectations. We are always, uh, I mean, uh, uh, we, we feel always player to arrange something for the students and the engagement of students encourages us to go for the next one. Sir, so being Dean Faculty of Information Technology, what are your goals towards your department? What are your innovative thoughts? Actually, uh, goals are always uh, multidimensional. Uh, first of all, uh, we have some academic goals. Okay. Uh, currently, we are running uh, five programs. We are, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, we have PG programs, I mean, MS and PhD in uh, data science, uh, science and computer sciences. Uh, the requirements of the market are changing. And we need to actually uh, embed, to augment our academics as per the requirements of uh, uh, not only uh, national community as well as the international community, number one. Number two, we want to bestow our students with such level of uh, the confidence uh, and that confidence uh, shall be shall be based over the skill set we, we will embed in our students. We want such level of uh, the students in our, uh, such level of confidence in our students uh, so that when it enters into the market, it finds nothing new in the market. This is our academic goal. And uh, competing the environment, Alhamdulillah, uh, I can uh, uh, say it with uh, uh, the best of my confidence that uh, in, in, in the regional, uh, I mean, uh, uh, in the regional atmosphere, I think we are uh, one of the best. Alhamdulillah, we are one of the best. All the institutions are best. But I think our reputation has grown too good uh, with the commitment of... And then uh, the uh, students who are interested to take admission at TUF, how yeah. can they approach? Each and everything is available on, on the website. I mean, uh, uh, the fac faculty profiles, uh, uh, the scheme of studies of different programs, uh, I mean, uh, uh, the hierarchy and the nomenclature of uh, those particular sort of the programs, then what we do throughout the semester, we have the glimpses on, over the mm -hmm. website. And I think if students, if a student visits the website 
uh, he or she can have the better idea about what uh, is going on inside the tough and inside the computer science department especially. Thank you so much, sir, for your precious time to share the pearls of knowledge with us. Can you please like to give a short message to our audience? Yes. Uh, since uh, uh, being the computer scientist, we are at the leading role of uh, the global community now. What is uh, lacking inside uh, uh, the national environment? What is lacking actually, what I feel, is uh, uh, the linkages, the bridging between the academics, industry, and the government. Uh, government. Uh, we have a concept of uh, uh, triple helix model that says the academics embeds uh, the industry, industry embeds the government, and the government provides the umbrella to both, both of these. What is happening in the developed countries? I, I, I don't uh, go uh, too much beyond uh, the scope of the discussion. Just we focus over the Europe and America. What is going on there? Intel, Compaq, Microsoft, Apple. What is the volume of revenue they are generating? They are the spinovers of the different universities of, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, the MIT, the Stanford. If uh, we just have a, uh, the, a single look over the data, the revenue uh, that has been produced by the companies, those who are based over these two universities only, so we can easily, uh, we can easily, easily uh, get the conclusion that the, the revenue they have generated is more than, more than the overall GDP of more than 50% of uh, the global community. If uh, this model is adopted in Pakistan, I mean, academics assist the industry and uh, the industry provides the proper input to the government. We can have a very successful model and uh, this successful model can bring us out of all the difficulties we are facing right now, including economy, including the decline in the society, including the decline in moral values and all those we, are, we can just imagine. This is my message as well as my strong request that if we make an effort on this particular front, we can, we can have all the dreams come true that we can imagine. Thank you so much, sir. So, ladies and gentlemen, as we have esteemed guest today with us, with the innovative thoughts, leadership thoughts, he has not only worked at national or international level and shared his number of experiences with us. Definitely, it will not only change our worlds, but definitely with that mindset and hope you will enjoy and will be stay tuned with us for an other uh, exploration of the other department at TUF. Stay tuned with us. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you.